Look, the squad he took, I mean, Marcos Llorente is going to play right back. It's either that or Adama Traore. And How did um, he surprise you? I just, look, I, I think <laughs> the thing with Llorente is that he, basically, I feel like at this point, any task you give him, he's going to do well there. And maybe that, in a way, is going to be a curse of his. Because if he was just very good at one thing and one thing only, then this co- the coaches wouldn't, you know, start to tinker with his position so much but he played well today and I, I I'm not saying it's his mm-hmm. best position but he's reliable in that role um so when you look at kind of his traits there first of all he has the stamina to cover the wing back position he has the lungs and the fitness for he is an athletic freak he can make those overlap runs those underlap runs with ease he provided an outlet for Koke a lot combined with Ferran Torres and also defensively he's going to be reliable and he's a good ball carrier from the back so all those traits mean to me like he's going to do fine there I don't mm. think it's his best position, but it is what it is. The one right. I think, um, hundred percent. Like it's not even mm. like you. I feel like you were a little bit too meek and shy with saying like Moreno for Morata. Like it's just bold statement. It's gotta like he has to start over Morata. Yeah. I do yeah. wonder. If, I mean, look to be I, More, Moreno provided an oomph off the bench, but also missed <laughs> missed a couple of chances. One of them, which I thought he should have done better on with the header. But do you worry about like Morata's confidence from here on in? We know kind of like how much of a fragile striker he is with like, if he misses one chance, the media get on and the pressure gets on him. I worry about the rest of his tournament. Now, do you, does that worry you at all? Don't know if you heard the the whistles as well as he came off. Uh, there was definitely, I, didn't, no. I was, I was watching on low volume actually. Right. No, I saw how you were watching the game. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, I, I was watching. I put. Uh, I was watching with my son. I had to pick him up early today, and he was. Uh, I basically uh, put on Spider Man for him for the first time, so he watched Spider Man. So yeah, but I did was able to watch him. But anyways, yeah, continue. Um, Morata and yes, Morata and and the whistles. There was definitely a, a, a large sector of the crowd that were applauding Morata coming off, but you know those whistles, those shriek sounds. Um, hurt the eardrums or get noticed by the eardrums rather. And there were definitely whistles amongst those uh, uh, applauses that, that, that Morata took him to bench as he came off. And like you said, uh, he's quite fragile when it comes to re- receiving criticism. So it will be interesting to see how he bounces back from this. It's not to say that he can't. Something that we have seen him do as well um, is bounce back in adverse situations and uh, actually play the game of his life. I, I forget exactly which one, uh, which game I'm, I'm referring to now, but I do remember uh, not in the near, not in the distant uh, past where he was under large scrutiny. And I'm referring to his time with the Spanish national side. And he came, not just that he, now he started this game and he was just the reference point. All the balls were going to him. He scored a couple of goals, was the big hero of the game, looked like the definite, you know, the definitive Spain number nine, the guy that we were missing ever since David Villa left the pitch. So he does have that quality in him. He does have these moments where he does rise to the occasion and does become that focal point uh, in the attack. But um, you know, where does he go from here on end? Well, uh, he, he shouldn't feel too deflated or uh, he shouldn't feel too defeated neither. This is a, a one point. It is a nil, nil draw. However, you know, this game could have finished, um, two nil, three nil in Spain's favor could have maybe also finished in, in a one all draw, in which case Spain still would have taken away a point. Uh, there's still everything to play for is where I'm getting at in this group stage, uh, so early on. So. You know, we have seen Spain in past tournaments as well come out of the gate slowly and still go on to uh, uh, give good performances in uh, these types of tournaments, in these competitions, whether it's the Euro Cup or the World Cup. So, um, you know, hopefully Luis Enrique will will sit down, have a word with uh, the youngster, but uh, or the youngster, I say, Morata, not exactly the youngest of players anymore. But, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know... Go back to the point that you're referring to, saying that I was too shy in making a more bold statement um, in claiming that or, or hoping that Moreno will start over Mata. I do, you know, I continue to feel that. So I, I prefer to watch, uh, to see an Alvaro Morata come off of the bench and be that 
as in la manga, let's say, the ace of the sleeve, as opposed to having to carry the weight of this team at this point as well in the tournament to uh, and that pressure of having to score the goals. Um, you know, Spain needs to get over the hump uh, and, and, and step out of the shadow that the boys of the 2008, 2010, 2012 class casted over this, this, this uh, you know, the, 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 the Spanish national side that has since underperformed in tournaments. And, um, you know, Morata, I just don't think he's the guy up top that will, that will be greater than a David Villa or will be able to, uh, you know, lead the team like a David Villa did in, in those tournaments in the World Cup, for example, where Villa would, he, he could kick literally from anywhere over there, uh, any ball from anywhere on the pitch. And it seemed like ended up in the back of the net. That's not, you know, we just don't see that in Morata. No, there's. I mean, that that's been missing for a long time now. I, Gerard Moreno is yeah. the team's best goal scorer left, and and he should he should be right. starting full stop. I mean, Lucho can have that target in Morata in the box. It's very hit or miss with him, and uh, it's he's not reliable in that role. And and Moreno would be uh, more so, especially given what we've seen more from so. him this season. He's been fantastic, you know. And yeah. and also in years and years past, it wasn't just Villa that they had too, right? They actually had goal scoring production from the wings. Like if you give Iniesta or David Silva a chance if you give you know any of these guys on like playing in the attack midfielders role a chance they would take them and you know and to your point with Oyarzabal 